Most daily newspapers continue to decline with several sharp drops in total circulation, but vernacular circulation growth remains on an upward trend with uh, Zululand Ayesu up 303%. Weekly newspapers have also posted solid growth. And joining us for a look at the print industry is Gordon Patterson. He's Group MD at Starcom Media Vest. Thanks so much, uh, Gordon, for joining us uh, this you. afternoon. Well, the health of the print industry, it's been labeled yeah. by someone like Sasha as a dying industry on its way out with the plethora of uh, yeah. tech advents that we see. Your view? I don't agree. Um, I was quite interested listening to the discussion about the share market and uh, who was wearing a tin hat. And I would suggest <laughs> maybe Sasha. Sasha, you know, this is like the, the pot calling market. the kettle black. I <laughs> don't mind being grilled no. In the fullness of time, I'll be right. Um, the, uh, the print industry is certainly going through a tough time. Uh, you can't hide that. And there are a number of reasons really for it. I think there's been, uh, there's been a, a period of time within the print industry where uh, they believe that being bigger is better. And I think they've invested a great deal of time and effort in creating the illusion of size, the downward economy, the change in ownership of many of the large groups um, has um, prompted many of them to come clean. And uh, we've seen uh, some of the large groups uh, uh, go public uh, and remove what they've termed incentivized sales, which in layman's talk means bought circulation. And uh, that's good. It means that, uh, that we're getting down to reality. The people who are buying the newspapers are more valuable than they were. Uh, there's, uh, a, I, th I think, a better optimism mm -hmm. in, the, in the industry. Um, I'm not naive enough to believe that there isn't a lot of red ink around. There certainly is. But business needs to right size for the markets that they're serving. And as you said, it's part of the introduction. There is growth. Uh, and that growth is good. And it's coming from all the right areas. Mm -hmm. you, you can't argue when, when you see growth coming through in vernacular titles. It's positive for the country. It's positive for print. It, uh, it, it, uh, it's good for everyone. Yeah. What's happening on the, on the other side is that there's a, a plethora of mediocre journalism. And uh, today, people who buy newspapers and magazines are saying, enough, I have choice. And I won't buy your publication if you provide an inferior product. Mm -hmm. I'll go electronic. Robert, well said. Can I just interrupt there? I, just, I was talking to Kurs Becker the other day, and his results were out, his interim results were out, NASPES, that is. Mm. And the, the print division is the one that he's, he's, he's got a soft spot for it, so he's keeping it on, but it only grew its uh, revenue, I think, by 5%. And he mm. conceded that it is uh, not in decline, but it's certainly not going anywhere at the moment. And he cited advertising revenues as being one of the major drags on that. But I look at, um, I look at someone like Warren Buffett, who's invested heavily in the print industry uh, this year, and I say, he's not. He's no mug. So um, there was also another story of a, a UK newspaper has just been launched for children, uh, yeah. for teenagers, and it's been a massive, massive success. And there is an online version, but there's a print version as well. So it seems to me that there's a reinvention of the print industry, and um, that will continue to see it survive and thrive. Yeah, I would, ag I would agree with you. I think one of the, the points which is often overlooked in the print industry is the importance of good leadership. And uh, in the print industry today, there's a severe lack of leadership. There's a lot of management, but not much leadership. Um, publications that are growing are publications that are owned and run by their, their, their owners. Um, and they're publishers at heart. They're not printers. Uh, printers seem to have a, have a, a, a difficulty in understanding what's most important. Do I produce a great publication or do I keep the printing presses running? And, and that, I believe, is the real problem. Sasha, what's your response to this? I mean, you've pretty much predicted the industry's demise, but we're looking at an industry that is becoming a little bit more inventive and innovative. Sure, but how would you then counter the argument that um, Google has now more advertising revenue than the collective, the collective uh, newspaper industry in the US? How would you account for that? And that's only happened over eight years. So you've seen newspaper circulations and advertising revenue at multi-decade So while we're lows. seeing the growth come through, now sustainability of that growth moving well, forward very much in question. I think, Sasha, as you indicated, uh, we are Africa. And we sometimes confuse ourselves with Europe. We're not Europe. Um, the print industry has a critical role to play in education. 
Uh, we heard news this morning that uh, of grade nines, only 13% of them, uh, or the average score shocking. was 13%, which is shocking. Um, so print has a critical role to play in our market and in Africa today. And it's going to be many, many years, it's beyond your lifetime, my lifetime, where we'll find that uh, electronic delivery of the printed word uh, will be the primary source of information. But there are also 27 million data users in the South African context yep. using these yep. to access their information. Well, they're not actually using those. They're well, using not yet. They're no. using SIM cards. And there's the belief that a SIM card is a cell phone, and it's not. Uh, you will have one cell phone being owned by a group of people and they will own their SIM card and they'll, they'll plug it in when they need to use the phone. And that happens quite, quite a lot in the mining industry. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm not uh, dismissing the importance of, of the, the electronic uh, uh, distribution of the printed word. I think we're in agreement we're about agreement. quality it's happen. journalism <laughs> is yeah, a you must. Can't, you, can't, you can't rely on freelance journalism and, produ and expect to produce a great product. It doesn't yeah. work. Of course, uh, you know, you, you've got to need the funding behind you as well, and that's where advertisers come into play. I mean, how hard is it getting advertisers to spend on print as opposed to, you know, It's, it's not that difficult. Um, and it's one of those lazy excuses by the print industry. They say advertising investment is down, therefore. And if there was more emphasis on selling, uh, there would be better results, but there isn't. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. I think we, as, a, as an industry, the print industry has gone soft on selling. They've assumed that, uh, that they're the victims of circumstance and, and what they're getting is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah.